Hi, my name is Andrew Scott. It's my job to look at the environmental, social, community, and health and safety risks that our projects might have. Earlier this year, I went to a project site to go take a look at the project, see how it was progressing. The project itself is a railway in Africa. I think the railway itself is very important for the community, not only because it's gonna be used for freight, but also it will uh, help alleviate some of the traffic that's on the nearby roads. There's a road that goes along where the railroad will go. And this road is known for being quite dangerous. And I think your average speed is probably around 40 kilometers an hour. And it is a bit terrifying at times. It's busy, but also you see that there's a lot of life around it. The road really is the center of life over there. And uh, when you combine all these different elements, people, livestock, traffic, of course, there is an element of danger there. The road is the main thoroughfare for the area. The increased traffic due to the project, as well as the already dangerous nature of the road, meant that we felt that the project needs to spend a lot more time and consideration on the traffic safety element. They have already implemented uh, spot checks of their drivers, adjusting the, the driving hours, the working hours of their drivers to make sure that people are fresher, more rested. They've also worked with the local communities, talking with people to make sure that they're aware of the risks. The project itself is going to be under construction for another two to three years. But even after that, our involvement will still be required. The impacts of the project don't end just because construction is finished. It really brings to life the, the principles and the values that we uphold in order to make sure that this project is executed in a responsible manner.